Okay, so today I'm making zucchini bread. Here in my bowl I have two cups of all-purpose flour. I'm going to add one and a third cup of light brown sugar. I have one and a half teaspoons of baking powder, a half teaspoon of baking soda, a teaspoon of salt. If you're using fine table salt, then maybe a half teaspoon works better. But this is a coarse salt, so um, if you use fine salt, it might come out too salty. So a half teaspoon of fine salt, if that's what you're using. I'm going for a teaspoon of coarse salt. One and a half teaspoons of ground cinnamon. So now I'm going to add around two cups of grated zucchini. Um, I weighed this and it's about 305 grams of grated zucchini, maybe two to three small zucchinis or just two medium. Uh, you'll want at least two cups. Sometimes I make this if I only have one zucchini. If we just feel like having zucchini bread, <laughs> it all works. And I'm going to mix this and fold it into the dry ingredients. Okay, so now for the wet ingredients. I'm going to add two large eggs. A teaspoon and a half of vanilla extract. A half a cup of grapeseed oil, cooking oil, vegetable oil, whatever you've got. I'm gonna combine well. So now I'm going to combine my wet into dry. I'm also going to add a half cup of milk. You could do a half cup of Greek yogurt, a half cup of, um, you know, any dairy-free nut milks or seed milks that you prefer. And now I'm just going to give this a really good mix. Okay, so this is combined. Now I'm going to add, I just kind of did a, a palmful, but a half cup of walnuts, pecans, whatever you like. I am a nut-free house, so I'm using roasted pumpkin seeds. And if you don't want to add nuts or seeds to it, you don't have to. There we go. So in an 8x4 loaf pan, I'm going to pour in my batter. By the way, my son's having piano lesson now, so you'll hear piano in the background. <laughs> I'm going to bake this in a preheated oven at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for about 45 to 50 minutes or until a toothpick comes out clean. The cook time may vary. Uh, just do the toothpick test and if it comes out clean, it's ready. Okay, so my zucchini bread is done. I'm gonna let it hang out for about 15 minutes before I attempt to pull it out of the baking loaf pan and let it continue to cool. Okay, so it's been about 10 minutes. There we go. I'm gonna let this, um, you wanna let it completely cool. So it was, t I left it 10 minutes in the baking pan just to sort of set and cool off a little bit. And so I'm gonna let this hang out on my cooling rack for another 20 minutes. You wanna make sure you cool completely before slicing into it. I hope you give this recipe a try. I hope you like it, and thanks for watching.